So besides constantly getting annotations wrong and overanalyzing lyrics to the point where it seems like they only care about the lyrics and not the actual music, Genius is actually a pretty decent tool that informs you a lot on what songs are about and how they came together, and it's a tool that I still use today. But my use of the site has drastically gone down, and it's mostly due to the fact that this one particular song sort of ruined my album experience because I was just too keen on the annotations and finding out the full meaning of the song instead of just leaving the meaning of the song to the interpretation of the listener. You know, me. And that song is Sunday Morning by The Velvet Underground. So my peak of use when it comes to Rap Genius was while I was diving into the Wu-Tang discography, especially Ghost Faces. And if you know him, you know that he's one of the most complex rappers ever. And I kind of wanted to know fully what he was talking about because so many of his lyrics just go over your head. So I would listen to Ghost Faces albums and then go back and look through the main annotations to find more on what Ghost Faces was trying to communicate. I took the same energy when I first introduced myself to The Velvet Underground and Nico. And I already knew before going into this album that this was one of the greatest albums. This was one of the greatest concept albums. And when I first listen to an album, I don't usually just go even read the lyrics. I just want to familiarize myself with the music and the concepts and what the artist is just trying to convey, not necessarily just diving full blown into the lyrics. So when I first listened to the album, the opening track caught my attention immediately. Sunday Morning is one of the most beautiful songs heard, beautiful guitar chords. Lou Reed's vocals are some of the brightest throughout the entire album, and he fills the song with subject matter like birds chirping, waking up on a Sunday morning, eating breakfast as sunlight is out, and it really opens up the album in a very positive and enlightening way. But once the album really starts with Waiting for the Man, it really feels like the album just does a complete 180 from the opening track. And here Reed is talking about having $26 on his hand on the wrong side of town just trying to pick up some drugs. And this is really where the concept of the album starts. It's really centered on an entire drug trip for this one character. And as the album goes along, other stories are brought in to bring in kind of different points of view. But it really doesn't matter who you are or your profession or what you're doing. Involving yourself with these drugs is going to involve you around the same people, which is going to give you the same results and that's just an, the ongoing sadness and depression that is tied to this very dark concept for an album. So with concluding my first listen and witnessing all these very dark tracks and concepts throughout, to me Sunday morning seemed very out of place with how beautifully it sounded and the uplifting subject matter that Ree was portraying. So I immediately listened to it again and I used Rap Genius while I was listening to Sunday Morning and it felt like a huge spoiler when I looked at the complete meaning of the song. But the only reason really why it felt like a spoiler was because I was so completely in the wrong about the concept of the song to an extent that I've never really been before. And this resulted in me thinking there was a spoiler. I'm not really shitting on Genius because they did their job. I was the one seeking more information, but it was just me being so completely wrong that changed my mind about how I use Rap Genius. And this is truly just a testament to how great of a fucking songwriter Lou Reed is. So Sunday Morning actually turns out to be one of the most depressing tracks in the track list because the main character is coming down from his high and he's having the same feeling of depression every time his high ends. He used the burst chirping and the beautiful instrumental and the lyrics to show the denial the character has in his depression. And this constant cycle that he falls into, he just can't get out of. And that's what the album really is, a character going through his entire high and all the different feelings he felt throughout and just resorting back to the first stage and denying the problems and the depression that he has to deal with. And I feel like that's one of the darkest moments in anyone's depression and anyone's drug use in reality is the denial that you have a problem, the denial that there might be something wrong with you that you have to deal with just because you want to constantly go back to the things that you think make you happy, like using drugs, and then just pretending like you're okay. But when in reality, Re was just not in an okay place here. When I found this out, it completely changed how I felt about the song. It made it even greater for me than it already was. But I kind of wish I would have figured it out on my own. And the only reason why I used Genius to find out more about the song was because I didn't think that the song would turn out to be completely different than what I initially thought it would turn out to be or mean. I felt like I never had such a complete different perception of a song until Sunday morning and it made me realize that I didn't want Genius just telling me the meaning of an album anymore or the concept of it. I would much rather just figure it out on my own even if some of the concepts and lyrics would eventually go over my head. With other concept albums, I understood most of the concept and Genius was just a tool that I used to add a little bit more detail into what I already knew was the concept or the meaning of the song. But Sunday Morning was the complete opposite to the point that it changed my perception on Genius. It wasn't me just adding details to what I already knew, it was just me being so completely wrong that it kind of just seemed like a huge spoiler to me. I much rather just kept listening to the album over and over again until I finally understood what Sunday Morning was about and not just have Rap Genius just show it to me straight away because it just didn't feel as special anymore. 
And it really just shows how much thought Reed put into this concept because I feel like I've never had a concept album just trick me this much. Now, I'm not completely disclosing Genius because when it comes to concept albums like Metropolis Part 2 by Dream Theater, where it's about a dude going through a midlife crisis who visits a doctor and is transferred to the body of a 20-year-old woman and he has to find out this entire mystery, yeah, you might need a little bit of background and detail there. But maybe that's what I'll use Genius from now on as a background in order to get into an album, but the main annotations might be something that I strive away from just because I want that satisfaction of figuring everything out on my own. And this just reiterates my belief that each album should be left to the interpretation of the listener. Even if the listener is completely wrong in building their own perception of what they think the album is about, the listener should decide what the album is. When Tyler Creator dropped Wolf, he was constantly being interviewed about the characters he introduced, and Wolf was supposed to serve as the third session, but it's actually a prequel to the first two sessions, and it made a complicated story even more complicated but he never really answered any questions about who sam is and what he does and all that because he wants the listener to go back to songs and listen to them more closely and create their own meaning because if he just spat out one meaning about the album it just kind of minuscules it and he wants the listener to build all of these great meanings and theories in order to make the album more grand than it needs to be. You know, we don't have to we don't have to pinpoint and put albums in a certain box. We just have to let them as listeners evolve into something greater than maybe even the artist initially thought it would turn out to be. And that's, I think, what's truly special about music and fans being involved in the music process. That's all I got to say. Thank you for listening. Let me know what your thoughts on using Rap Genius are. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll be with you very soon. Peace.